class in object-oriented programming is a template, blueprint. You can also think as a new data type, uh, which has asso associated variables called properties and associated functions called methods. Let's create our first class in PHP. To create a class, you need to use class keyword. After class, you need to name it. The class name should start with either underscore or letter, and then it can contain underscore, letter, or number. Let me call my class car. After this, you use braces. And here's our first class. This already class, uh, it doesn't have yet associated properties and methods, but we can create an instance object from this new data type. And the instance is created like variable name, my car is new car, and that's it. My car is an object instance created from this new data type called car. So in the future, when I say class, I mean the class car. And when I'm talking about instance, I mean my car, an object created from this instance, from this class. Excuse me. Now let's add some properties and methods to this class. Like color, weight, and release yarn. Okay, what is public and private? You probably have this question. Public, private, and also protected is a visibility of properties and methods. Right now, I'm not gonna talk about protected because it's a part of inheritance, which we're gonna cover in the next videos. But as for public and private, I'm gonna explain it right now. When you declare a property with public keyword, you can access this property from outside the class, like right here. You can consider the uh, area of class like the opening brace and closing brace. So outside these braces is the out of the class. So when I declare property with public keyword, I can actually modify or change or get the value from it from outside the class. For example, I can say that my car and this arrow, and the arrow is the operator which gives me access to the property or method. In this case, I want to access my color property, so I access it and assign it whatever I want. That's the tricky point. I can actually assign this color whatever I want, because PHP is loosely typed language, and when you declare a variable and color is a variable, you can actually assign it whatever you want. So my, col my car's color is red, and now I can print my car's color, and it tells me that this is red. Open terminal, PHP, car, PHP, and here is red. Okay, what about private? I can only access my private properties from inside the class. I cannot access it right here. If I try to access like year is 2010, this will give me an error. And the error says cannot access private property car year. Okay, I'm gonna delete this line. But how can I access my year property from inside the class wherever it's allowed? inside functions, also known as methods. So in the future, when I talk about function inside the class associated to this class, I always mention as a method. And it's called a method, actually. So I'm going to create a new method like public function set yar, which will accept an argument. And here, I'm going to actually change my yar. How can I do this? I use this keyword. And this is a variable associated to the instance on which this method is called. So right now, I'm going to say this yar is yar. And whenever I call this set a yar method from outside the class, like my car set yar, 
is 2010, this will reference to my car variable, the instance on which the function, the method was executed. Now it's allowed to change the year, and here I want to print if my year was changed or not, but I cannot use this private year variable property yet. So I'm going to create another function, public function get year, which will return just the year of the car. Now with the same syntax, I call get year. Uh, let me print this. Let me comment this color. And here is 2010, which is uh, printed on this line. Okay, you probably noticed that I have used public keyword also when declared function. I can omit these public keywords right here because by default it's considered functions are considered as a public functions, public methods of the class. But it's good and common practice to use these visibility keywords either private, public, or protected on the methods to have to have a view what uh, is the visibility, actual visibility of the class. You probably forget what's the default visibility. So that's why it's a good practice to have this public keyword on the functions methods. Let's get back to one really important and tricky thing. When I wrote the line 26, I said that I can assign my color whatever I want. And that's quite true. I can actually assign uh, like 2010 to color, which is, which is, I think, not really good. So when I print the color, it's 2010 and I can do this. So is there a way to restrict this and validate if we are assigning a valid color or not to the car? Yes, there is. There is a better way of assigning a color to the car. And for this, we're going to use methods. Now I'm going to change my color visibility to private to avoid accidental uh, assign, accidental mistaken uh, assign to the car. So now when I run this, I have an error that I cannot access private property of color of the car. So now I'm going to comment these two lines and I'm going to change my code so that I can assign the color to the car via method. So I'm going to create public method set color, which will accept color argument and here I can do the same thing, this color equals to given color, but this, that doesn't make sense. I don't do any validation, so if I call set color, uh, it will just do the same thing. So assign 2010 to the color, which is not what I want. So how can I do validation? There is a way to create a private variable available colors. And I can have a list of valid colors like red, green, blue, white, and so on. And before I assign a color to the car, I can check if the color given color is valid variable, valid color or not. So I'm going to write here if in array given color of this, excuse me available colors. If given color is in the list of available colors, then I can assign my color. So now if I run the code and here I need to change to get color and I need to create this public method also. Public function get color. Okay, now when I run this, my output is empty because the initial value of the color is just null. So let me assign something there. So let's say that initial value is red. Now, when I try to assign it 2010, my output tells that the color of the car is red. It wasn't assigned because I passed here invalid color. But if I pass here white, 
which is in the list of available colors. And I run the code, I can see that my color was changed. If I have a typo here like and pass it like white, so this will not assign it and my color is still red. So it's a really good practice to declare your variables as a private and create methods for assigning and returning values of these private properties. And this is called also as encapsulation. So you encapsulate your variables in methods and just work with the variables with the properties using methods. That's the end of this video. I hope now you understand how you can create a class, properties, methods, and instances in PHP. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and share this video on your social media or to your friends. And let me know what you think also in the comments. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Thanks again and see you next time.